Hello everybody, welcome to a round of 32 uh, chalice match between K-Fog and Kian Dare. Uh, Kian Dare is receiving and has caught the kickoff. Uh, Kian Dare has unfortunately sacked, <laughs> sacked a blitzer for absolutely zero benefit before the game started. It's a bit of a miscalculation on on inducements, so Kian Dare is going to have to get his head together really because this that's a brutal mistake to make against K-Fog of all people. Um, I think this is a bad racial matchup for Dark Elves. Um, so yeah, Kian Dare's got his got his usual, uh, you know, the same team he played against me, just kind of min-max, right? Just nothing exciting, loads of lodge, rodge, and a bit of tackle and a bit of sidestep. Um, K-Fog has a more excitingly min-max team with an amazing gutter runner on the bench. Um, some three other good gutter runners, a kind of weird storm vermin and not much else. Uh, and with me in the booth is Fatin. Hello. Fatin dressed as a mummy. Good morning, Jim. Lovely to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Fatin is, of course, the oldest man in Blood Bowl. Not really. <laughs> but that's the joke. Right. So somebody, that's why he's got... Somebody cracked open my sarcophagus this morning and I've emerged to do a bit of commentary. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is really rough because not only is he down a, a block non loner plus movement on one of these characters, it's also mentally, isn't it? That's tough to have made that mistake. I think that's going to be the tougher part than actually being down the blitzer. Yeah, he's on four loners now, so I guess that's what happened, isn't it? So mm -hmm. ooh, that's not like actually, if this matchup, if he didn't have any loners. Core's team is not super scary for a Dark Elf team. I've played this matchup on both sides. And if I was a rat team, I would want piling on and I would want um, some one or two dirty players. Yeah. Um, and he's got neither of those. So the Dark Elves could... The Dark Elves are just better players than the rats. So, um, and they're armor eight rather than armor seven. So, you know... I wouldn't say this is like super favoured towards the rats, although the rats do just the dark elves have no special players and the rats do have some special players. So that's that's I'm expecting that to make a bit of a difference. Yeah, yeah I, I I don't think it's as bad a matchup as the racial matchup would imply, but yeah. I think it is a bad racial matchup for sure. But yeah, he hasn't got the things that you would normally get, like the claw to invalidate the armor eight and yeah, the the reserves yeah. and the dirty player and stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, Ducky. Yeah, it, it is. It is a picture of Gengar from the JFW. But, you know, it's to represent. <laughs> and the the fighting is not one. in the JFW. Would you like to be in the JFW fighting? Well, I've I watched a little bit of JFW um, this morning. There was there was a naked robot running around. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what was going on last night. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's be oh my god! It's it, that that is Robo Bezel because normally Bezel is just naked, but um, sometimes well, he adds bionic parts to, uh, <laughs> to when he teams up with the AB. <laughs> yeah, stick me in the JFW. Is it? Um, it's obviously, it's pretty skill based. Um, the this game. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it's just, the skill is just uh, watching idiocy happen, happening. <laughs> right there, you go. There's the there's the link in the chat, Fatin. If you fill in some details about what you'd like your wrestler to look like, which uh, sweet, you know, I will sign up. <laughs> glorious. <laughs> right, so we've got a um, one line rat has gone already. Yeah, huge dodge fail, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's his bench gone. I don't think fouling is going to be... The only thing Corsair said is that he wanted a bench so they didn't have to field the armor six um, yeah. super, super gutter in the first half. So so that job has been completed, basically. So armor six super gutter gets to come on for the one-turn attempt and then gets fielded in the second half. Yep. He's probably fine with that. And there is only one tackle for Kian Dare, so he really has to uh, he really has to make sure this guy's protected at all times, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, this is absolutely crucial here, because he's the only weapon he's got to smash the shit out of the gutters. <laughs> if I was core, I would probably be looking to just snipe for three or four turns. I don't think... Because you want to try and... Maybe chip a one or two Dark Elves, but then 
you I I would be putting the pressure on around about turn four, five, six, something like that, I think. Um obviously the pressure is he's got an incredible sack piece with two heads, wrestle dauntless tackle, and he's got a pretty damn good recovery piece with uh <laughs> Blood step two heads shorthand, so yeah, that's his two action pieces, and he m could potentially use the guard pieces as a setup. But I really, I don't like um, fielding scaven teams with only three gutter runners, though. I'm, I'm I've, I always feel like I'm only playing half a scaven team if I've only got three gutter runners on the pitch. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, Spartan Elite. Yeah, I've just remember. I've just remembered the Spartan Elite was watching the Total War and helping us with the Total War. Um, yes, yeah, so it, 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 this was from a board game made by Games Workshop, um, so that's why it's slow and uh, a turn-based strategy with squares and everything. Is it? <laughs> it is just literally a, a, a direct port from a from a board game, essentially. Um, but made by Games Workshop, so yeah, that's why there's like scaling and everything, like. Uh, like Warhammer and Dark Hills. And there's a player called Rackarf as well, funnily enough. <laughs> which is uh, which is the name that they copied for the Rackarf in Warhammer. There you go. Oh, a bit of Blood Bowl lore. Yeah. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't From Jim the Angel one. <laughs> until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Glorious 23 quarters beavers. So, Corey's doing a bit of sniping. He's keeping his juggernaut gutter runner. He, now, one thing that not everybody might realise here is that the juggernaut allows Core to blitz any of his wrestlers, and he does have three wrestlers on the team, as if he doesn't even have wrestle. So, you can ignore wrestle as a defensive skill when you're blitzing with juggernaut. So. Yes. Yeah, very important, very important. I totally hadn't forgotten that at 7.30 in the morning. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he has definitely got to be more protective of his wrestlers, hasn't he? Because they're essentially defenceless against him because he's got tackle as well. So, yeah, very yeah. interesting. And, yeah, a wrestle, a wrestle dodge guy is essentially just the same as... I mean, Core is basically blitzing defenseless pieces, which I think is is generally what you want to do, isn't it? You want to, you want to blitz there. The softest targets most of the time. Yeah, there's certainly an argument for it because yeah. Um. Anyway, thank you very much. Twice hopped for staying fantastic for nearly six hool beavers. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, the the game does have a ball. Uh, yeah. The guy that's got a blue, um, sort of like glow around him, kind of in the centre of the screen at the moment. Is the, the dark elf carrying the ball, and um, to get to that ball, um, you're generally going to have to find a way through by pushing, blitzing, smashing other players in, during your turn to actually get to the ball. So that's why the ball's in what's called a cage at the moment. So it's kind of like protected by some surrounding players. Yeah, each player has a uh, has like a zone of control around them. You can see here um, that makes it hard to like move away from the player so um oh god protecting your buddies okay so dark Hell's moving up the pitch there's where the turn time is at the top top left and the top right so we're it's uh, this game lasts over 16 turns um and at the moment we're on turn three each player has 16 turns Depends what race you're playing is, Flamingo. <laughs> hello, Barasco. And hello, Killer. I don't know if I said hello, Killer. There you go. The rats are getting beaten up, yeah. Two linemen permanently damaged after he's just fired 15 there. <laughs> fired from 15 down to 12. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yes, yeah, so that, that's the idea with all these players, and, and yeah, you can see the tackle zones. The tackle zones, they're called, but yeah, they're, that, that's kind of common in a lot of games, isn't it? Kind of squares around them. Yeah, that you, you pay a price to dodge through or dodge away from and stuff, so... But... I don't know. It's like Would Battle it Brothers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you, don't get, you don't get sliced by a, by a, um, some sort of um, broadsword when you when you try to run away from them, but it's, it's pretty much like that. <laughs> so there's a huge difference in speed between these two teams. Like the Dark Hills are not that quick, are they? And he's only got what two blitzers and a 
Witch Elf, everything else is movement six, so. Yeah. I'm wondering how bad it would have been to give a wizard to the Dark Elves. But yeah. without dirty, without any dirty players and stuff, I'm not sure you're making use of a bench of 15 rats, are you saying? Yeah, that's the thing. He's not getting a lot of use out of those three players. And, uh, you know, mm, well, obviously now he would be, but... With no kill skills, like if 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 he had a mighty blow or two, then you then maybe it's worth it. But yeah, it's I don't think it's like he thought the wizard is his only chance or anything, but it's just like it's just not worth the reserves for it. I think that was all it was. But yeah, so, he's got the one turn, hasn't he? Cause done no damage at all, blitzing with mighty blow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and juggernaut. Kendra has been blitzing with just regular block, and there's. Confirmed to two line men in the bin so far. So, yeah. uh, so core is down to ten men maximum for the rest of the game. Yeah, and that means core is currently going pretty defensive, just hiding his good players. He's putting the blood stepper out there on the on the left hand side, just drawing Kendra in. Kendra looks like he's switching sides here, actually. Yeah, I don't well, like this so much. Back to the middle, anyway. I don't like going around this way. Right? I'd rather blitz and dodge because this is his only tackler. So I'd want to keep him as central as possible, and uh, he could have just gone directly forward and then, you know, dodged away. And I know it's a yeah. one in thirty-six, but you've got the, you've got the ball in the cage. I think that was worth it to uh, not expose his tackler, or, or or not even to strand his tackler. You know, like Cole put out that blood stepper. Well, he he just couldn't hit him, could he? Because his tackle was miles away. So now mm. he can hide from the tackler a bit. Um, I think you, your touchdown's almost nailed on at this point, isn't it? But barring like. A suicide dive. Well, I wouldn't say the touchdown's nailed on because, like, where does he go territory wise? I think he's going to come back to the center here. Having blitz, yeah. having blitz the right. Oh no, he's just going to go. All mm. right. Okay, why did he blitz down that way then? Oh, I don't like that. Do I not like that? Also, he put in two players on this side and then hit from the side, which you only need one if you're hitting from the side, don't you? I guess that was to protect the. Because the. If the if the tackle guy gets blitz now, then the storm vermin will have to dodge away, or like he can't blitz the he can't blitz the tackle dark elf blitzer without getting stuck on the his his like fellas yeah. on each side. But I think Core's going to come in soon. Oh yeah, I think he'll be coming hard now. <laughs> <laughs> will he will he be will he be doing that from the front or from behind? <laughs> oh, probably from behind. If I know anything about Core. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. That will remain in suspense until it uh, until it actually happens. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is looking so good. Obviously, if 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 the sack fails, then the sacking gutter runner does not have sidestep. So, yeah. um, whenever. The, I like the way that Kendra is coming up the sideline because he's just blitzing a mm. blitzing a Rog guy. Defenseless. So, yeah, defenseless guy gets pushes anyway. <laughs> greed it. Oh, greed. Gone down to two rerolls for the rest of the, for four further turns. Gets a KO. Not a super important piece, but I don't think I would have agreed with that. I think I would have just. Yeah. I don't think I would have done either, but because he's only got one one reroll for the defense now, hasn't he? But then maybe he's, if he's given up on the defense, almost then fair enough, isn't it? Oh well, yeah, I certainly wouldn't give up on the defense, and uh, you need one reroll for the one turner, and I would say you need two rerolls for the the business turns. Yeah. Five and five and six, or five, six, and seven, maybe. But this is looking, so, this is looking uh, pretty much given up, isn't it? Yeah, so it does, kind of. As long as Keander is sensible and, like, you know, makes an impregnable meat cube. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the mega bunker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get the old mega bunker in. Yeah, okay. I was I was well up for coming coming in either from the front or behind that turn. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was very keen, very enthusiastic. So, um, but no. Core has decided to protect his gutters, keep those gutters behind a little shield here. He's got tackle on Kendra's tackle. 
Yeah. I mean, the problem is if you if you go in like you are in danger of getting surfed, aren't you? And if it fails, it fails hard. Yeah. As 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 awesome him said, like, and he's got the sidestep, so it's not like you're gonna get a good scatter. Probably not. I think I think he and there should put an extra screen in front. Oh, I don't like how he's playing this. I would have just put an extra screen in front, and then yeah, like a double really, screen. Yeah, yeah, then then with the sidestep, you're basically guaranteed to have a bad bounce for him. Um, I guess this is okay if now if he dodges this, if he if he dodges and rotates these guys back and makes the screen with the blitz, that actually works out really good. Let's yeah. see if he does that. Okay, okay, this could have been really nice actually. By the end. Yeah, you can you like can build screen. you can build a double screen in this corner here, and it's a great idea to carry on a carry on the side step guy because you can control where the side goes to. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's crucial. And get the tackler in there. You need the tackler in there, don't you, in case he comes in with the gutters. Yeah, sure. You don't just want him. I think I might. I think I might be one closer to the sideline because. Basically, it doesn't really matter if the ball is super close to the sideline. Yeah, because side step. Yeah, I would because have definitely got been one of those. Yeah. But you want the the sacking gutter runner to be close to the sideline so you can yeah. surf him if he comes in. Yeah, and, this he, is, and, and this is the recovery easy. fails. And this is just too easy to come in the front door as well, isn't it? Um, like, you know, this is like twos, 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 isn't it, to get through? He's got two heads, so this is just literally two, two, two. Whereas if you yeah, if you were three in a row on the sideline, then it's harder for him to dodge in, isn't it? The way he's eye caged, though, he can't like he's he's never going to come in from a corner where he can get more than a one dice. I mean, no, sorry, he, he's going to have to uphill, isn't he? Because he has oh, to. Oh yeah, the but if the whole the, the point is, if all three were like one square up, it's still the same. But he's got to make a harder dodge in, hasn't he? Yeah, that's true. That, that's all I meant. Like not only as you were saying about the sidestep and everything, it just it, like. The reason that you don't go at the sideline is because you don't have sidestep, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're carrying on a sidestepper and you're expecting a dancer to come in or a, like a little gutter runner with two heads like this one, then hugging the sideline is a decent idea because you just threaten the surf straight afterwards if it goes wrong. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what... No, it's just... Paul's just, you know, banging hard, but... <laughs> Firmly and uh, without without much uh, uh, reward. <laughs> firm banging without much reward. Yeah. Administering a firm banging, yeah. <laughs> which which uh, people appreciate at seven seven fifty six in the morning. Uh, most not, not in my experience. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> yeah, I think, um, <laughs> well, just a little. What do you, What do you reckon? Estimate the chances of that one turn are actually working, Jim. Thirty-eight percent. Okay, I'm going to go with forty-one point five percent. It depends, doesn't it? It depends because like of where the ball goes and everything. It's probably yeah. high. It's probably high in thirty eight. Actually, he's at six, isn't he? He's at six. Yeah, it's just a bunch of twos, isn't it? It's got short hands. So I like a bit of short hands actually, uh, yeah. because that it does. Like a lot of people get short feet on their one turner, but I'd much rather have short hands on a different gutter runner because that's just more generally useful. I never get short yeah. feet on my one turners. But I think it's I think it's nice once like they get up there, you know. Yeah, but it adds, that it is adds simply like not true. three or four. The data does not the support your assertion. It really doesn't add very much, and it's like a garbage skill in, the, in other scenar all other scenarios. Like. Yeah, but like you know, if, if he's dedicated and he's he's moved along the road, then you just might as well, might you? Like it's that or catch. Like do you know what I mean? I wouldn't pick it early, but like yeah. once you get down that road, there's there's not a lot else. Well, I mean, this Paul's got sidestep, which is a nice one to have on a yeah. one turn. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, sidestep's better than sure feet. There and no I would want, I'd want him to have wrestle or block, I think, um, because you often have to field him, and I, and he yeah. can be more generally useful if he's got wrestle or block. And I think that's they're just great skills to have. So, so yeah, you don't have infinite amount of room for shitty skills like 
Sure. No, but I mean, I had sure feet and dirty player on my one in my uh, in, the, in the ultimate league that we did. Right? I can't remember what it was called. I had dirty player on my one turn. Was that was that for the teddy fouls? <laughs> no, no, I just because I wanted some dirty player on the team, and no other players could afford it except the, except the one turn. <laughs> okay, right, chat. Do not listen to Jim's advice here. Do not get dirty player on your. Game and one turn gutter runners. Uh, why well, did Cole not try to suck the ball? I mean, it, it's it's hard because the screen in front he can't cancel the 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 thing, so he'd have to be three uphill. So he, he can't do it on three uphill, can he? Like he, he, maybe he should have gone a turn or two ago when he had the chance of the uphill because that was pretty much the, I thought the only chance he's going to stop him because if he doesn't go then he's not going to get a better chance you know that's the argument isn't it yeah. like it wasn't a great chance but if you don't go then you're not going to get a better one and uh, now he's now of course he's fully he's got the full cage full screen and uh, now it's really like it's basically impossible for, for K-Fog now isn't it two dice uphill is 44% to get the ball down on the floor um, three dice uphill is Considerably, so it's I don't know, twenty-four percent. So even three dice uphill can do it. It can do it, but then it makes the dodge in harder as well, doesn't it? And yeah, the yeah. dodge past the screen and like it's just like this is a nightmare to get this in. Yeah, yeah. I think the opportunity was two turns ago. Yeah, yeah. And in the end, Core finishes this half with. I guess maybe Core's thinking it's an overtime match. I've lost two, two linemen already. I've not used my Apo yet. I need to save one reroll for the one turner. Used a couple of rerolls for greeting hits and stuff. But really, other than that, he's not used this reroll for anything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He, he basically gave up on the defense when he rerolled that, that tackle hit, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So we got an insight into Core's mindset when. Uh, <laughs> When he just re-rolled a random greed hit on a, on a wrestle. Yep. No other rats. No other rats have been removed though, so that's fair. And he scores a touchdown. So now we get to see the one-turn defense, and because that's quite crucial weather. So I don't know if everyone's seen. Cause Cause made a series of five YouTube videos all about one-turning. Which are yes. really good to watch if people don't know this sort of stuff. I'll, I'll find it and link it. Yes, but, please do. Um, whether or not you have twelve, uh, sorry, eleven players on the pitch for the defensive setup, or or ten players, makes a really, really big difference. Mm -hmm. So the fact that the wrestle dodge guy that got knocked out, wrestle dodge dark elf guy that got knocked out, has just come back on a 50-50 KO roll. It wasn't a 50-50 um, KO roll. Oh no, because he's got the uh, he's got the double base. Okay, take take all that back. <laughs> But he did roll a four. <laughs> yeah, so it would have, would have been a 50 bit. Okay. Mm, uh, I think uh, I remember from viewing Core's um, uh, video series that Kandera has set up his things. He's got two blanks, two rows in between the two rows of four. And I think the percentage is that it's better if you go only one row. Uh, oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know, Core was doing some maths on it or something, but, um, yeah, maths. Maths at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, but yeah, there's actually 6, yeah, it's actually 6, so the number of tackle zones doesn't matter at all, does it, against this no, asshole? Good point. If, yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> who, who said that in chat? Because we'll give that person a medal. Bazza. <laughs> it's Bazza. It's Bazza. Good work, good work, Bazza. We'll, uh, you, can, you can commentate some more. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Lizard is basically making stunty dodges here, so... Uh, it's F you, Bazaar, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what, making, making your commentators seem less knowledgeable? <laughs> no, no, in case anyone doesn't understand that. <laughs> they use part oh, of the Fumble he's, United. He's from, the, from Fumble United, right, okay. Yeah, yeah Fumble yeah. United. I wasn't, I wasn't just saying, fuck you, Bazaar. <laughs> of course not. It was definitely Fumble United. <laughs> I was I was thinking F you Baza for being a smart ass in uh, in chat while we were trying to commentate. So you know you just like, keep your nose out of this Baza. <laughs> 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 right, there is some sort of one turn attempt happening here. What is going on? So he's got two side steppers. So the two side steppers, he's not got three side steppers. If there were three side steppers, this would be a lot more tricky. Yeah. Um, 
Although I have seen Cor score a one turner by blitzing like the you see the blodge blitzer on the right hand yes, corner. Yes, yes, right I've corner. seen him do that as well. I thought that was really nice, really yeah. sweet play, and uh, I've seen him do that before. But he's choosing not to do it this time. I thought that was brilliant as well, but Artemis thought it was fucking obvious and you had to be a dribbling idiot to have not seen it. <laughs> I'd never seen anybody do that before and I thought that was really nice. And I've, I've actually too. since done that once to somebody else in Jump Ladder and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> three, three stand firmers on the line. But you need a high movement sidestepper. Yeah, which he's got and he, yeah. which he likes a lot, doesn't he? So, mm. so I'm surprised he didn't... Maybe make an attempt to that, but maybe you need 11 players to do that? I'm not sure. Yeah, he, he, he needed like a cube there, didn't he? Um, I, oh, no, wait, wait. He, he is going to do this. He is going to do this. I didn't realise that that was Kendra's time running Yeah, that was still Kendra. Now, yeah. now it's This is what he's going to do. Yeah. He's going to blip. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blitz in. Get so what you're going to see, guys, is a, a one turn there. I think what's going to happen here. Oh, he's put his well spotted. Nick's spotted that the Rog lineman with kick. Ooh. is not, not where he should be. <laughs> oh, what a horrible mistake after spending all that time as well. Oh no. So for anybody that doesn't know that there's a there's a kick skill which controls where the he's got wrestling like kick. Guy, yeah, he's got wrestling kick and he's in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up oh, one nation. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be a really nice. This will be if Core pulls this one off. It's a really sweet one turner. So basically, what he needs to do, he needs to get this gutter runner one square forward, and he's going to do this by filling up the squares in front of the gutter runner, uh, which Kendra has left pretty easily fillable. I think. Yep. Although he's going to need to dodge one guy into the right of the. Yeah, yeah, got has got to dodge in there. It's two plus though, isn't it? Two plus. He's got two, two heads cutter, yeah. And he's going to make a, a bunch of little. For fuck's sake, Tony! Filled Stop out being block. shit! <laughs> make a blitz with the juggernaut guy. Yep. On this blodge step blitzer, uh, on this blodge blitzer, and thereby avoiding the problems of the sidestep on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Should be good if it works, I think. Yeah, that's, that's where I would have put him as well, yeah, so you can go to the little Yeah. With those exact sound effects. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's also putting one gutter runner on the line of scrimmage. Oh, no, maybe he's got to be on the other side, because he's got to fill these in front of him, hasn't he? Maybe he has to be there, actually, thinking about it. Because you know, if he if he puts the guys in front of there, three there, three there, then yeah. when he pushes him, then he's got to have the square to sidestep to, which means he's got to be the other square. Hasn't he, hasn't he got a swap with the lineman here? What you need is a giant sharpie or something to write on your screen with here. So, uh, are you not equipped with this tech for your stream? I'm not. No. no I'm Sad not. time. <laughs> yeah. It's fine like this, says Agrelius. Okay, I'll take your credits as word then. Here we go. Riot, oh well, all of that for nothing. Riot. And a touchback, Riot what a touchback. look at dog. Oh my gosh. This is why Core is one of the best players in the world. <laughs> he, uh, he's ready for any eventuality. Now, if that so kicks guy had been in the centre, no way a touchback would have been possible. Oh, he's giving it to his Storm Vermin! <laughs> This Storm Vermin needs three star play points, and he told me he would try and level him at some point. Now, this is really rude. If he <laughs> gets this fucking Storm Vermin to <laughs> score a touchdown against Gendra's Elves. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> Toxic shoreboarding. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, now, I guess he might want to blitz the further, the one further downfield, right? If he blitzes this lineman, he's defenseless. And then I cannot he believe he's going around him. I mean, surely 
Kendra can get some blood steppers on the ball or something, can he? We can just, you can just stand him next to the, the gutter and hand off to him, can't he? That's the thing. True. Like this is the obvious thing to do to blitz the guy in front, but I, I wouldn't, it would have been interesting that he could have he could have gone for the guy behind, couldn't he, for the unprotected hit? Oh, there we have an injury. Oh. This, 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 this should be Apo. Miss next game. Miss next game though. Instant Apo. Fails. Unlucky. Oh god, Kian Dare's getting shot on right now, isn't he? <laughs> yes. I think he had to have one because he's only got three blitzers because he bloody sacked one for no point. Oh no, Kianda! Oh, that was such a bad mistake, wasn't it? That was so bad. That's that's yeah. gonna be so hard mentally as well because he's got to be kicking himself, hasn't he, right now? I think he's probably forgotten about that by now. But I I just think um, that was maybe a lack of like gaming things through before the match. You know, one, this is what Cork could do. This is what you know the options that I could do in response and stuff. So I don't, I wouldn't have forgotten about it. To be honest, I would not have forgotten. About it. I would be tearing me apart for the entire game. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, but he's. He's had. He's just had about four other unlucky things happen to him that he's, he's probably more concerned about now than uh, true, whether true. or not. <laughs> yeah. True. So this, is, uh, this is pretty horrible for Kendra, but um, the one good thing is that Kaur's carrying on a storm vermin. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the the one thing going for him right now. Yeah, that was brutal, wasn't it? The perfect first half. He did play pretty much perfectly. He got a bit of luck, obviously, but uh, he, played, he played pretty much perfectly, I would say. Yeah, first half, yeah. and then and then he gets rioted, puts his makes his mistake of the kicker, the, the wrestling kicker's in the wrong spot, and then there's a riot and a touchback, and he is absolutely up shit creek. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Like this is a currently mm. an easy. 75% dodging, 75% yes. dodging, in a one or a one-dive wrestle, yes. onto the sideline. And he doesn't so need to be there, does he? So risky. Yeah, he could have just been one back. Why isn't he one back? Like, he's he's yeah. got he's seven yeah. away if he's one square back. That just seems wild for no reason. I think I'd be coming in for the wrestle, looking for the scatter onto the sideline. Here. Yeah, oh, he's got to. He's, he's got to. There's no choice, is there? This is like a golden opportunity, even though it's not very likely. Obviously, seventy-five percent and then fifty percent. But if he gets that, if he gets the the hit at the sideline, he can go and he can score. No, he can't score. <laughs> the right really yeah. fucks him, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. oh, I thought that with the right he could score himself, but no. He's no. been given a turn. <laughs> yeah, no, he can't. Um, but yeah, I mean, he he could really get the uh... taking the loaner block first. Oof. Okay. Not sure about that. I think I'd have gone straight in. This lets him assist with a different character, I guess. Or, like, cancel the assist with a different character. No, he can't reach with it. Oh, I hate that there. Hmm. Well, it would have been a GFI to get the wrestler, the other wrestler, onto the to cancel the assist. Yeah, but he could, he could have just moved the blitzer around, couldn't he, without making that hit? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Dodge, could, dodge with dodge. Like I'd rather dodge with dodge than loan a hit. This is a lot of confidence from Kaur. He said he wanted to get guard on this Storm Vermin for the next match. So, yeah. fair enough. I think it's fair enough if he's one square back. Uh, this just seems wild, doesn't it? And, you know, he could yeah. have been one square back, right? Everything could have been one square back, like... And uh, he could have blitzed this wrestler, like, oh, God, what the hell? Oh, okay, he hits the one-turner, okay. That's... He hits the armor, armor six one-turner. Yeah, okay, that, that's okay. good match equity, I guess. If he causes him, which he yeah, doesn't. Does he... No, he doesn't foul him. Oh, dude, that could, have, that could have been the dodge in and the power, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, uh, oh, I, I, I think that was well worth a go. The the, the dodge is a seventy five percent dodge, and then you're looking at a one D with wrestle on block. Yeah, fifty feet. Like, pretty good odds. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, he can't really make columns because he can just hand off to a gutter and go wherever the fuck he wants. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can add off to a 95 gunner if he has to, right. you know. The absolute worst is um, hand off. Oh, no, I suppose he can... Yeah, he, he could put multiple guys on this on this this two heads gutter. Yeah. And he's got the other gutter as well. There's the one near the back, yeah. Mm. He's making... So he puts the loner in to make the last column and then probably puts the blodge step witch on the two gutters, I think. Yeah. Okay, maybe then. Maybe. So lo loner goes in near the, where the kick guy is to make a sort of diagonal column. Mm. I mean, he can do something, but the point is, I think, whatever he does, it's got less chance of working than the dodging and the 1D, you know? That's the thing. Yeah. Well, this is what we were talking about just before the match, about, like, an active defence to try and sack the ball versus a passive defence to hope that your opponent rolls a 1-9 somewhere. Yeah. It's usually better to be active, unless you can make some sort of monster screen. But here we're facing against... Multiple gutter runners, which can get you from multiple angles <laughs> with, with multiple heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people talk about, you know, it's uh, Blood Bowl's a game of risk mitigation and everything, but it's oh it's God. that's only at the most basic there. level, isn't it? Like it's uh, it's not really. I guess probably good advice for someone who's new to Blood Bowl, but it is, I think, it's, yeah, it's definitely better to End be. End the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, and, man! Yeah, he's, got a, he's got another range five, got a here he can hand off to and score. Pretty easily. So both of these guts have two heads. Hands off to this one. Two plus catch. Oh! Fail. Oh! Alright, now it's interesting, because this is a few dodges. And there's a GFI. Yeah. It's like three dodges and a GFI, I think. Three two plus dodges and a, with with the dodge. Yeah, three. Thing. Yeah, three. GFI. Three dodges, I think. Yeah, you can't make it better than three dodges. So. He's just coming past this kick guy. Yeah. Two plus two plus two plus with dodge. Wait, one, two. Oh, that's still three dodges. Yeah. And the GFI makes a GFI. Oof. Easy game, easy game, Jim. Why do we, why do we worry so much? Oof. Easy. <laughs> easy. Okay. Um. So the storm vermin does not score. <laughs> the, the the one turner poked his head out for one turn, got <laughs> smashed, got stunned, <laughs> and then he's going back into the. Oh no, he's not going back into the hole. He's he's going to be out. This turn. Yeah, he's got to. There's only ten men. It's going to be out on display. <laughs> yeah. Right, so Kendra is... So this is where the lack of speed, he's lost a blitzer. The rats are just going to hold the ball at the back until the elves come forward. Okay. And, then, and then they're going to take the ball to the front. And then they might take it back to the back again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is real hard for Kander now, isn't it? He's, he, what is he? He's not... They're equal players, aren't they? Is it 10 v 10? It is 10 v 10, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, man, but it's real bad that he's down a blitzer by choice for no effect. Oh, God. I can't get out of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> this would have complete. This would have probably tilted me during the match, but I, mean, I probably wouldn't have made the mistake. But if I had made the mistake, I'd be proper tilted because yeah. it's yeah. just it's just hard, isn't it? Like he's totally doing himself up like a kipper against KFOG of all people. So if you're just joining us, or if you you joined the commentary, you know, before after the start of the match, what what happened was that um, Core suddenly, with about 15 minutes to go before the match came to the conclusion that he could fire three linemen to go from 15 players down to 12 for the match. And that denied Kendra the wizard that he was expecting to get, I would have thought. And in response, Kendra, although his team actually had only eight proper players and was going in with three loners, he fired a blitzer, a rookie blitzer, 
to be replaced with a fourth loner, which gave him, which he thought might give him enough to buy a wizard, but he was 10k short. <laughs> so we're we're kind of reading a little bit into that. We don't know exactly that's what he was aiming for, but I think that's I think that's what happened. Yeah. So in the end, the only inducement he could buy with the financial fair play rules is two babes, which is shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really shit. Yeah. And he could have got those two anyway. If he hadn't sacked the thing, you'd have 30 less, but he could have just put in the, uh, yeah. the, the treasury, couldn't he? So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was got to be a mistake there. Yeah. Anyway. He's just got to somehow put it out of his head, but I can't put it out of my head. <laughs> and I'm not even playing it, so... <laughs> but cause blitzing another Wrestle Dodger here, so the Juggernaut means that that Wrestle Dodger is defenseless, then bringing his Juggernaut going back. Yeah. Quite often, you quite often have to do this with rats, actually. If, if you have not leveled your linemen very much, then you quite often have to use your block gutters <laughs> to get the, to get safer shits on the on the line of scrimmage which is fine but i mean it doesn't mean the block gutters the block the gutter can get smacked back again yeah i didn't like the follow he didn't have to follow there did he with that gutter and that has exposed him to a to a smashing from the tackler um yeah hmm. maybe you just wanted guard on those on those yeah maybe yeah i guess guard to hold the to hold the line and not get the Delves in the backfield, but then Delves in the backfield is not a problem, is it? Because he just runs straight past them, so... And he's got short it up the middle with that anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, Cord Cor definitely wants to try and stall this out to eight turns, I would have thought, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like, Elves in the backfield is just not an issue, is it, for Skaven? Like, essentially, it's more it's more getting your, your line rats and your blitzers, like, tied up and then them not being able to move, so then you've only got a few guys to protect the ball, I would say, rather than just having, like, you know, if this is a bash yeah. team yeah. and the Elves that split your team, then you're in a you're in a world of hurt. But Skaven are just like, woo! We all <laughs> moved to ten squares and go wherever the fuck we want. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you generally tend to the the line rats kind of usually a lot of your line rats are tied up. You can free a line rat with a blitz sometimes. You try not to do any three plus dodges. Like if Skaven are doing three plus dodges early in their turn, they're usually under pressure. If they're just doing blitzes and two plus dodges early in the turn, you know that they're not under so much pressure. So you can kind of tell how desperate the Skaven player is doing by how many three plus dodges they have to do. If the line rats are just sitting in the center, sometimes they can be just tying up players. I don't mind a line rat that's sitting on a, a skillless dark elf because it's just a 55% to even just getting down there. He needs, it takes up two elves to hit one line rat. But um, yeah, generally the line rats just have a big old brawl somewhere and maybe you can free up one or two line rats to keep the ball protecting. And then you just use your four gutters to just, you can set up a cage pretty much anywhere on the field, according to what the position is. So here Kandra is just doing what you normally do on turn two of L's. You're picking up your line of scrimmage guys that have all been knocked down. You get yourself in a sort of like fairly tight formation. You don't want to be, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you, you get yourself in a formation that's a, that's a screen. And then from here onwards, from the next turn onwards, Kandra is going to be thinking about like when and where to pressure, how many, I would suggest he needs at least one elf in the backfield to make um, core protect the ball otherwise he can sit at the back here with the ball yeah he's got to get like a that rog guy maybe somewhere he's only movement six though which is kind of sucks yeah, so. the problem in it he needs to get his blitzer back and then uh he'll get his rookie blitzer back and send him down <laughs> you, could, you could head down to the job center like the, the rookie blitzer is already down the job center and you just like head down there and say do you want to do you want to come back mate do you want to <laughs> That's your old job back in. Oh, it's juggernauting oh, into a cast. Oh, huge. Juggernauted the wrestler into a cast. That's pretty big. Massive. And he did use his Zappo already, didn't he, on the Mercedes game? He did, yeah. K Fog just waiting there. Just waiting there to let it sink in, isn't he? <laughs> he just pauses and he's like, What do you think of them biscuits? <laughs> 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 Toxic showbot that he is. <laughs> mm, okay. Rats firmly in the driving seat. 
What would you do as elves here then, hey? Oh, concede, uninstall, never play a game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not the incisive commentary I was looking for there, Jim. <laughs> Uh, I, I think, think which would be the best player to get in the back, but then obviously you don't really don't want that hit by the the jugs. Uh, but I guess you can blitz the jugs here, can't you? You can you can tag tag blitz and then block that, tag people up, get the elf, uh, get the blitzer, uh, get the witch elf around the back. Then she can be in scoring range and you know frenzy to hit. Uh, I quite like that. He's not doing it though. Yeah, if you can if you can hit the tackler and somehow tie down the tackler, oh, he's got a power on the, power on the guard guy. But um, if you can hit the tackler, I think the witch is the best player because she can potentially she's got the movement, she's got the frenzy, which is kind of like the pseudo tackle. Like if you if you just get one Roger down the down into the scaling half, <laughs> he's not going to do anything because if he wrestles down the gutter runner, the gutter runner just picks it back up the next turn. So you know, uh, the witch is the one that can blitz. Frenzy, pow, pick up, and run somewhere. Yeah. All in one. So I think that's what he's doing. Look. Oh no, he is just. Uh, okay. You're never going to stop this game team by screening. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to get rowdy. rowdy. But he does get. He does get a little hit on the. You know, getting rid of the mighty blow tackle guy. Maybe he's just. Again, these early two free turns don't really matter very much about anything except for if somebody takes a little attrition hit here and there nobody's really going for anything because if you go if you make some plays and take some risks you're burning your rerolls and there's a chance that the other player recovers if you do if like Kandara did some amazing stuff um on this turn or the next turn then there's a pretty good chance that core has enough time to recover the situation and still score. Yeah. Whereas if Kandara goes from some amazing stuff, burns some rerolls around about turn 14, then there's less chance of Core being able to recover the situation and still score. So now's just not the right time to uh, start going hell for leather, I don't think, for either it, player. Yeah, I agree. But is this a GFI from his uh, Storm Vermin to Blitz? Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Looks like he's going to GFI hit that, hit that witch. He wants the witch, yeah. What are you saying? He deserves a one? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Mystic, Mystic Jim strikes again. There we go. I bet, I bet he's going to remove this witch now. He probably is, yeah. Yeah, I like that side step square because then if he punches the uh, lineman and he gets a pushy still burst. Yep, he does remove it, yeah. She's gone. Okay. Well, we were saying that which would have been a perfect, uh, perfect somewhere down in the deep in the rat territory. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just yeah. should have followed, right? He should have followed that hit. He shouldn't have brought put in the three. If he, if he'd followed that, tagged the lineman, then it's just hard for him to get up and dodge away and do stuff. Yeah. And like, I just think he yeah. played that turn badly, really. To be fair, to, to be fair to Kian Day, I think he played that turn terribly. <laughs> 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 one, of the, one, of, one of the things you can do with, like, if the opposing team has one killer, then you can just multiple base him when he's, like, if you do manage to get him down, then then multiple basing a Skaven and Storm Vermin means that you're kind of determining where the Blitz comes as well, so you can space him up with a couple of a couple of loners or something like that, that's yeah. armor eight. So you can, I'm playing a Skaven team at the moment that cannot keep more than one Storm Vermin alive. But the storm vermin that is alive is fucking amazing. So, uh, so I've basically just been roaming around with one killer and all filler. <laughs> but he's doing pretty well. Nice. He's got um, mighty blow, claw, horns. Uh, that's it. Yeah, he's just he's only level three, but it's, it's only I've only played about ten games on the team, so I have like a forty-five star player point storm vermin. He's got horns, mighty blow, and claw. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Get him tackling jugs and he's incredible, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm planning, I think. Yeah. Hmm. So Kendra is just making one long line of loners. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Kia? Well, because I mean, because it is kill. It's not looking much different than the start of the game, really. I mean, right. yeah. Taking two cars in a 
Okay, well, he's been pretty unlucky this half, I guess. But, you know, Kfog was unlucky the first half in the removal game. Satterfield doesn't appreciate the timing of the smash. <laughs> I know, it's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal, isn't it? It's been going for an hour as well already. So. <laughs> it's insane. Kilmatronics has been strolling on a Saturday, <laughs> an Easter stroll. <laughs> glad, glad to see your dedication's just not quite there, Kilmatronics. <laughs> you got popping out for a bloody stroll just before that. <laughs> Round of 32 match here <laughs> with yours truly and Jim getting up at an ungodly hour. We were doing the commentary. You were out for a stroll. <laughs> He does have a sack threat here. He's got a blitzer because he doesn't. I mean, he's not got the witch anymore, so he had to get somebody down here. And so, cause now I've got to think about something. Yeah. He's also put, put Roger on the other storm vermin. That's fine. Yeah. Now, now he's got like the, the now he's done the right thing and multiple basings on the uh, on the on the tackler. And okay, yeah, it's still and he's got the tackler as the sweeper, and and this looks a lot better than the the previous turn. Yep, yeah, I like this. Because Skaven have a lot of edge-free players that you can put under pressure. Yeah. Or you should put under pressure. Yes. You should attempt to. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy for him, but uh, I think yeah. he's fine. Okay, so he's forced in a chain push here to get free up some of his edge-free shitters. Yep. And get a mighty blow hit. Lovely, lovely little move there. Um, It's incredible how good, like... This is why I don't like strip ball on my gutter runners, because I love dauntless gutter runners. So when your storm vermin is tied down, or your storm vermin is off the field, having a dauntless gutter runner is basically like a movement nine blitzer that to roam around, yeah. blitzing people, opening up gaps, pushing people around is so good. Like he's he's basically like like you've just made yourself an elf blitzer. Because your storm vermin do get tied up quite a lot. Um, especially if they pile on and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, it's just so much better all round than strip ball. Like strip ball is useless so often that um, I, I don't really like it that much. But um, and I think I think wrestle tackle dauntless is yeah, just really widely applicable. Oh, I, oh, I, knew, I, I knew that was going to be a removal as soon as he did the one day. I was like, oh, <laughs> and there you go. Instant, Ooh. instant one D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, a bit oh, of justice there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, justice is a harsh thing to say. It's not really justice, but a bit <laughs> of, like, redressing the uh, yeah. the look. Okay, so he could come in for a wrestle here. He could, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I think about, probably would. Yeah, it's about as good as it's going to get for him, isn't it? Like, it's, uh, the, the sidestep makes it horrible, but... I guess you could come in for the tackle as well. Yeah, that's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah. But it doesn't really matter because he's just going to sidestep. Like, if he didn't well, have sidestep, the tackle would have been great, it, wouldn't it? Because he would have it, it pushed him out. Yeah, the tackle has more chance of injuring the gutter. Which oh, is something. Oh, he's coming in. He's not Wait, doing this, it, doesn't, this doesn't seem right. Oh, no, he's not coming in at all. Okay. Uh -huh. The thing is with coming in with the tackle is that you commit your guy to the front and then they and then he's not a sweeper anymore. Whereas yeah. if he came with the wrestle then he could keep the keep the tackle guy where he is. Yeah. If it fails. Yeah. But I think if there was no sidestep then I think the tackle was the play. Because then you push him out the back. Yeah. And you can get it and you know it's risking it for a biscuit then, isn't it? Whereas now it's just yeah, it's I don't I don't like coming in with a tackle against the sidestep. The other advantage of the tackler is that you, you have a chance of actually powering the Yes. And and maybe damaging the sh the short hands guy so Ooh. Loner block goals. <laughs> oh, now there's just a gaping hole. A gaping hole here. Tackle smashes him. Okay. Oh, doesn't really smash. Is that a blitz? That's not a blitz, is it? No. So it doesn't juggernaut gets wrestled. No, but he's got. He's still got the gaping hole, hasn't he? Like this is like what four, six players could just run through. Maybe he should have blitzed. Because what else? Ah, I yeah, guess. actually. I guess he can just... Blitzing there would have been pretty good, wouldn't it? I mean, he's obviously going to blitz the tackler with the, the Dawnless gutter and a bit. Yeah. 
Or is that just weird pathing? It's not moving as far as I would have liked, actually. I think I would have just moved a long way here. Yeah, maybe. I, would have, I think I would have bezzed forward. It's alright, isn't it? He's doing the Dauntless here uh, in the safe way with two assists, which means even if the Dauntless fails, it's going to be too nice. Fails to dodge, stuns a vermin. Okay. Oh, this isn't as bad as it could have been for the Dark Elves, because yeah. previous turn was pretty bad, but he could come in for a 5 plus wrestle here. And now, the sidestep isn't as handy, because wherever he sidesteps, if the wrestle hits, if he comes in for the 5 plus wrestle, if the wrestle hits, uh, he's got such a small cage, he's not got enough rats around there to protect, like, I don't know where you'd sidestep, maybe forwards or something, but... Yeah. Um... When the cage is this small, the sidestep is less useful because he has to sidestep somewhere to the edge of the cage somewhere. Oh, it's not good. I think he's going he's for the tackler in. He's not going to come in, is he? You think he's going to come in with a... With a tackler? Maybe. Why, why, why did he... Why, why would you tag that guy if you're not going to? You know, like you'd tag the back if yeah. you're coming yeah, in yeah. back with a wrestle, wouldn't you? So the fact that he's tagged the front means that, which I think it was bit, it was bit because yeah, this 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 thinking of the sidestep, the obvious sidestep one is forward, isn't it? So that means you want the tackler to be able to react if he sidesteps yeah, I, forward. that's what I was thinking. I wouldn't blitz with the tackler here because if he sidesteps forwards, you got no recovery whatsoever. Yeah. Whereas if you come in with the wrestler that's on the floor, maybe he's only needs three squares and he's already he's just three away. That guy that he just stood up, if he just come in with that wrestler there, yeah. then. Um, then he would have had the tackle guy. Like, all he has to do is get it on a bludger, and then, well, he's got a lot to do, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't like moving everyone first. Mm. Oh, no, he hasn't come for it. I think this is this is the classic case of people being, like, scared to roll the dice themselves, isn't it? Like, so many, th you know, it's... It's, it's, it's been a pretty bad situation, and... I don't know, it's maybe, maybe it's just being more patient than we are, so... Yeah, yeah. But I think I think that would be better in CCL, you know, to be more patient because like Elliot's always super patient when I think oh you've got to do something, but then his CCL grade opponents <laughs> make some massive punt and let him back in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, waiting for a fuck up is actually that. quite a good strategy for uh... <laughs> Rick would have died, dived in with a ball sent or requiring a six, Gary <laughs> Yeah. Satterfield, I think anybody that gets stand firm on a gutter runner should be sh shoved out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, like it's it's just too too passive, I think, against K Fog. Like it, like you know that K Fog's this good, and you can argue certainly to to be more passive against people who aren't as good. But you know, it, again, it might it, maybe it's just good anyway because like he hasn't got that many players free, has he? He's got his gutters. And a three plus yeah. dodge, and these two are isolated. This is a pretty good spot with that stun. Like he probably needed the stun, but um, with that stun, it makes it actually tricky for him to stall it out here. If, I mean, he, he can't score early because the the Dells can uh, two turn, can't they? So a rat got stunned last turn, dodging out at the end, didn't it? And then another yeah. rat got stunned on the blitz. So two rats stunned, two edge, three rats on the floor. Yeah. Like, I kind of just think it's because it's KFOG basically is why I would have gone for that. I think I think it's kind of fairer to play more passively against lesser people. <laughs> that sounds hard. Le lesser coaches, not lesser people, obviously. But I don't know. KFOG's a lovely fella, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Less but good he's, football he's all coaches. kinds of a man, though. <laughs> yeah. He's a hell of a guy. Um, but yeah, I think le lesser Blood Bowl coaches are more likely to, to kind of spoon it if you, if you give them the chance to. But, uh, Interesting. What's, what's, what's Cole doing here then, hey? He I is... think he's probably trying to use his blitz somehow, isn't he? I think that's the idea. He obviously didn't want to go into the corner with the gutter runners because he's got three more turns to... Oh! Ooh. Snake! <laughs> he snaked it. Well, there you go. He got the 1 in 36 chance. What do I know? <laughs> of course, oh, wow. I mean, anyone can mess it up for the 1 in 36, but hoping for a 1 in 36, generally not a good strategy, but it's paid off massively here, potentially. Okay, what's the play here, then? The tackler is three, four, five, six. GFI. He could GFI. He could. Uh, he could make a three D with wrestle and GFI to hit, 
and then he's got all of the other four free to react, like the sidestep and everything. Uh, yeah, the the show hands and everything. A three D with wrestle. A three D with wrestle. Yeah. The thing is, though, the more go if you commit to assists. Like he is doing the three D with Russell, so he's listening to you. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> reason. <laughs> That's very disappointing. <laughs> if you commit to assist, then your recovery and safety is looking a little bit ropey. So, yeah, there's it more is. chance of getting it down, but less chance of getting it safe from all these horrible, like that horrible sacking gutter runner and stuff like that. But the thing is, though, right? You, you need to move one of them to get the wrestler through. So, if you don't do that, then it means you've got to uh, you've got to block with the your sure hands or something first. So like no, he, he could have just he could have just wrestled with the guy that wrestled there, didn't he? No, oh, yeah, he could have done. Yeah, I was thinking of wrestling with the wrestle kicker, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't think of the dodge. I wanted him to assist the hit or or react. Yeah, the wrestle kicker has got more important things to do, like thinking about not kicking, being on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Think about what he's done. <laughs> yeah, go to the corner and think about what you've done. So here's <laughs> interesting because he can he can kind of um, block out, even though it's kind of been an awkward catch on the lino and you don't really want it on the lino, he can block out a square behind this area here, which means that he has to blitz. Well, he's either going to have to... Yeah, if he, if he sort of blocks out a square here, he's either going to have to blitz from the front and then go around the, into the square with his edge six, which, to be fair, is... Quite a high percentage, I would have thought. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think that's what I would do here. Now that the now that that's happened, I think I would make a sort of like a square non cage. But if he's going to blitz from the front with the dauntless guy, it's going to fall into that square non cage. Yeah, you could put tackle on all on three gutters here, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, I think I. So what, use the kick player and the blood stepper to make... Yeah, they can do something. Lino can tag the uh, tackler. I oh, yeah. Don't think... Oh, okay, he's put him there. Though. Uh, I don't really like that very much. No. Because that guy's not got tackle, so... Maybe... Maybe he's going to use all three of these players here to make the, make the, the sort of protective area I was talking about. Yeah. But I'm, I'm much preferred using the uh, alignment to do that. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it would have been a lone alignment doing a, doing a dodge and maybe a GF5 to get in position. No, I would have just put him. Uh, I would have just put him somewhere. On, that he on didn't the do that. <laughs> I would have put him in the no one square back from his blitzer. That could have been the, the lineman could have been one square back from yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. and I thought that would have been good enough. And then have the tackle. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens here. So he has made a sort of barrier, at least not a yeah. not a sort of square, but yeah, it's something, isn't it? He's in with a chance. Yeah, sure. This is perked up. It's yeah. one-one. Anything could happen. Oh, baby. Two turns left for both sides. This <laughs> is. It's time for the big one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have really you, Big. I, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Skuro. <laughs> Lo and behold, a gym, a wild gym stream appears. Yeah. Yeah. He managed to he managed to wake up for whenever you finished last night. <laughs> <laughs> Not that late, actually. I was just shattered at like eleven or something after the uh, JF <laughs> wheel. <laughs> Well, so many men were hitting the floor in the JFW that you were. Uh, what? What? Oh, oh, he's bitching like this. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't stop that, did he? And I didn't like that. I didn't like where he, that he put this guy on that on the kind of wrong side. If you ask me. Yeah. Um, that blitzer. What a scatter! Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Two tackle zones. You know that Edge Six doesn't like that. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> The adjectives can come through on two pluses here and <laughs> pick it up on a two plus and get out on a two plus. So, wow. So Jesus. stupid, isn't it? Such a stupid player. I've had edge six players before and kind of regretted it because I thought it should have been edge five with something else. Yeah. But, because it is kind of redundant in a huge number of situations. Yeah. But not in this one, obviously. 
And even if he fails the pickup, um, he's got sidestep anyway, hasn't he? So He's not going to fail the pickup. He's got a one in six chance, fine. This is absolutely fine. <laughs> it is absolutely fine. It's about as good as he could have asked for after, <laughs> after that. Add sixes, yeah, it is glorious. Like I've had add six on a on a wood elf lineman, and it was like amazing. <laughs> Have you had an add six wood hunter and an add six catcher on the same wood elf team like Gadenix got right now? <laughs> I haven't, no, but I can imagine it would be glorious. <laughs> My experience with the worst player you could have it on was completely amazing. So yeah, oh, took, a, took a GFI. He's got to. He's got to do another. He's got to do another one. What, to yeah. get him out of range of that the tackle guy? Yeah. Who, by the oh, way, right. if he'd been one square back, like I'd said, would have been in range of this. <laughs> yeah, he would be thinking that he was listening to you, Jim. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a 2 plus, naked 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus with no re-rolls to yeah. get that ball safe. Yeah, but you've got to do it, haven't you? That's the thing, you know, like it looks, it looks, it looks bad. Artemis would be flipping his lid at these post three roll GFIs. But if he doesn't make him, he just gets smashed by the tackler. Like, it's too easy for the tackler to come well, through and smash actually, him, isn't it? Actually, I think the last GFI I probably wouldn't have made because the tackler needs uh, to dodge on a three plus away from tackle, needs two GFIs. And if he actually makes all of those and rolls a pal, you just pick him up on another gutter. You just pick him. I mean, he's out of, he's out of, like, he, he can't make the pickup and you've got no other else within range at all. So, so if that tackler... He's got the line. Actually, a lone alignman who needs a 3 plus 2 plus to pick up. I reckon that was risky taking that last GFI. If he'd have just, if he'd have just left him so that the tackle, the blodge tackle guy could hit him on a 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus... But then he would be at the end of his movement, and you and you just sidestepped. But he wouldn't though. Would he? Oh yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah, all right. But the the last year fight was so that he couldn't be hit at all. Yeah, and right yeah, now, sure. having to do a, he's having to do a loan of loan of blitz here, which isn't that great. Wait. Oof. Oh. And that's game. I don't know. That was so. The question of like he just did three naked two pluses without without a reroll, and I was just wondering. I was just kind of questioning whether that last one was worth it because he's armor six. And he just <laughs> failed to GFI, and he'll kill himself, or he'll <laughs> be stunned, won't he? So, um, yeah. Dark Elf chances at one turn. Dark Elf can do a one turner, but he's got he's had four players removed, so he's only got seven players on the pitch. So chances are pretty. Low, yeah, we thought. pretty non existent. I don't think KFOG will even put the side steppers on the other way. Well, how many steppers has he got? Two, but like, you know, I mean, if he had three, he might do, but I think with two, I don't think he's, I just, I just think he's gonna put shitters on the other way. Since he's, he's never gonna put his uh, AB6 one turner on there, no, but I think he might if he had three and like, you know, there was a there was a good chance yeah, of the one yeah. turn, but I don't think he's gonna risk anybody. Oh, I did say I was going to link those uh, videos. So here is the. I think this is the first one. He could have chain tackle footman forward, could he? So anybody wants to um, find out a bit about one turning defensive and offensive setups, um, just follow that link there and core who is K-Fogged, depending on how you want to pronounce it, um, has put together a set of videos that is something for everybody there. I think, like, even many of the best players would um, learn a thing or two watching those, so yeah. Um, Absolutely, yeah. And so many players have no idea how to set up for a one-turner. There's fairly standard defense that is pretty good in most situations, um, if you've got a full set of 11 players and um, don't realize the possibilities of scoring one turn. So there's a, a lot of players where that is a big hole in their game. And uh, yeah, it's a nice set of videos, of course, not Absolutely is. Mm. 
Mm. Fair enough, Orion. I got... didn't really look at it because it looked hard. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got... He did get both of his chaos back, so he's got nine players for this one turn attempt. And Cor's just thinking about how to set up the defence. Yeah. Is he going like this? I think he'll just backline it. Honestly, I think he won't give a shit. <laughs> that's my that's my analysis. Oh no, he is giving a shit. He is giving a shit. He's doing the space three with a side stepper as this. The. Uh... Well, I think this isn't great, is it? I mean, it probably is against move seven. But he's got he's got frenzy, and he's got sidestep, so he could blitz in the he could blitz in like next to the garda, next to the garda. What's it called? Gutter. Get the sidestep forward, block again, get another sidestep forward, and then frenzy get two more. So it's it's doable. It's doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. I'm pretty sure. So he's going to use the he's going to use the witch to blitz, and he's going to get it to the sure hands guy. Ideally, you'd want the sure hands to pick up, but he's going to use the sides up here so no which, which to block at the end ah uh, yeah okay I think it's possible I think it's hard it might be possible it may, it's probably technically possible but it probably needs some fucking dodges and maybe it's even an uphill to start or whatever or a 1D to start or something why do you want to use the frenzy at the end not the beginning because it then it pushes forward too you need, you need four, go forward to four squares. So, you, so like if you if you watch my stream, fine, <laughs> I can I can show you. Uh, or in fact, I'll share I'll share my screen on Discord. Here we go. No, I'm I'm watching the I'm watching the stream as well as the game. So okay, I'm, right. I'm so you come in from the top here, push him once, then he sidesteps yeah. to there. Then you block with this fella, push him to here. Oh yeah. And then I your see. last block is with a frenzy, so you can get the two hits. Well, I was thinking. If you don't use Frenzy last, you've got to push yeah, somebody yeah. else forward to hit him the, for the fourth square, so it's super hard, but Frenzy, mate, you've got to do the last hit of Frenzy, I think. Well, I have, I have used... The thing with the Frenzy is that... Uh, I have got... I have done two pushes forward with Frenzy before, but the there wasn't a sidestepper, and the three on the line of scrimmage were tight. Ah, oh, right, yeah. But I don't think you can do it in this situation, you're right, so... And not with this number of players. Anymore. Yeah, it's, it's a hard it's a hard spot, isn't it? But I don't know why, what is which else doing over here. <laughs> he needs to come in here. I think he's, he's going to blitz, he's going to blitz and chain push. He's going to blitz into that hole where the witch elf is. Next to. Right. By, by using the square. And then he's going to frenzy two forward from there. I think this is wrong. I, I, I think this is yeah. completely wrong. I, I don't know because I don't know what he's thinking and I don't know how he's thinking it and maybe it is possible but in the three minutes that we've just had I've only thought about the way I would have done it and, <laughs> and it would have probably been hard because he'd have had to fill in like squares you know with dodges and shit but I don't think this was the right way. No this doesn't look good. Why is he going for a hit on this random sidestepper? They're trying to get the POW so that he could have... It doesn't... POW and removal so he could have blitzed from there with the frenzy maybe. Oh. So. Really? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's all over now. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I think it was over the setup. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good match that turned out with a bit of excitement at the end there. Yeah, um, yeah, the snake eyes definitely made it interesting. Does he still think he's he's going for this? I guess he's gonna try and then realise he's wrong later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. No, this could this work? 
No, I don't think so. He's got he's got the other guy forward one to do the last block. Yeah, he, he has got the other guy forward one, which is you need to to do a movement seven one. You need to get one of your players, as well as the guy that's going to score, forward of that the halfway line, and he's yeah. managed to do that. Unless you hit last with a frenzy, that's the thing. So that's the thing. So yeah. the frenzy hitting last is 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 makes it a lot easier. Hmm. But um, he can't do it now, can he? He's realised. <laughs> as he makes, <laughs> as he makes this block, <laughs> he didn't have the extra guy to make the extra block. So. I think they're quite. I, I've not pulled off. I've pulled off maybe like three movement seven one tenors before. I've, I've not I've done many. Is yeah, this popping in? It was hard. I mean, it was hard. I think, but I think he did it completely wrong. <laughs> And I think it was very hard. Um, like, I think he had to do, like, you know, crazy dodges and shit to fill everything in. I think it would have been really low odds if he'd done Be it. Before the match even finishes, we have the winner joining us in the commentary booth here. So, uh, congratulations, Cor. <laughs> uh, I was pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we enjoyed commentating on it. It was great stuff. <laughs> yep, congrats. My head, yeah. Just, my head was completely not in playing blood ball. I really couldn't be asked. You should just keep off, keep off the booze the night before, and then, uh, or, or were you wrestling the night before? I don't, I don't know whether you were. I was, uh, drink, I was drinking. Uh, I was doing some online thing with my portable match. <laughs> anyway, congratulations! It was a good, uh, good match to watch. Um, yeah, it's fairly even teams, and those two early casualties just made everything so awkward. Yeah, so through the first half, were you thinking, when did you decide that you weren't going to go in for any kind of sack attempt and you were just going to chill out and wait for the one turn? Pretty oh. early, because the risk of me losing any... I'll, my The problem with going for the sack is that I'm risking losing it even more rats than one. Yeah. And with already, with no bends, that's what I've been doing. That's why I have 15, because then you can <laughs> rush pro line rats at, at people yeah. like crazy. But with only 12, you cannot do that if you want to drive for eight turns. How much did you roll on the winnings after that match? Because uh, uh, yeah, yeah, five. So you're going to need to buy. So you just lost. You just perm two line rats, so you're down to ten. So you gonna you got enough to buy at least three more line rats. Now. Yeah, I can buy four if I want. Really want four. to. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, which I potentially want to because it's because of the team build. It's really really limiting when you don't have line rats you can throw against defense. It, because I have so few really good players, I, I need those line reds to be disposal. Just cannon fodder you can throw around at people. Yeah, that's fair. Hello, Kian there. Commiserations, Kian there. It was, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was interesting. Wasn't it? it was rough, rough, rough with the uh, the the losing the blitzer with uh, miss mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh, tell us tell us about the pre-game, Kendra. Was it was it just a, a bit of maths um, that you just like made a mistake fi firing the blitzer there and thought you'd be able to get a wizard? Was that was that the we assumed that was what was going on, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. Jim Jim would have been um, so tilted by his uh, by his. <laughs> By his misstep there, that he he would have basically pounded the floor and then uh, given up the entire game for. A... <laughs> I would have struggled. I would have struggled to. Uh, I would have really struggled to like get out of my head. I think like maybe yeah. I would have done because you know obviously if you were playing the game you'd be thinking about the game and like here we're just watching it so it's it's been festering in my head the whole game. Maybe if I was actually playing and having to think what I had to do, maybe it would have gone out of my head. If you think Jim gets angry when he's actually playing a game, he gets very angry when somebody else is playing a game and they make a mistake about 10k of gold! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I just couldn't get it out of my head, that was the thing. I just couldn't get it out of my head. Whereas maybe I would have got it out of my head if I had to think about how to play against k -Fog, So um, Yeah, but I thought, I thought Kendra did a, a really nice... Uh, the first half went very, very smooth. You, uh, you, you built the mega bunker in the corner, didn't give Cora a sniff. Um, and then the and kept protecting the wrestle players, which was really annoying. Yeah, protecting the wrestle yeah, players. Yeah. With the new so that was that was really nice. I thought it was well well controlled. Um, and then the one turn defense got totally invalidated when he got the right. 
Ah, on the riot turn, right? The when Core did the riot, you assembled a bit of a screen. Did you consider coming in for the four plus dodge, one dice wrestle onto the sideline? Because Jim and I were quite keen on going for a going for the ball there and seeing if we could wrestle the ball onto the sideline. But in the end, you went for the screen. But yeah, I'd four. expected that as well. You were you were expecting a one D wrestle it. Wrestle yeah. It. Well, there were several occasions when when Kendra could have. He, you were being very patient. You were being more patient than the commentators were being, Kendra. We were thinking, yeah. is he going to come in now? Is he going to come in now? No. <laughs> is he going to come in now? <laughs> yeah, because no. I don't know. I feel like, you know, Kev, first of all, it's KFOG, you know, so like, it's it's not like um, against the vast majority of CCL, you know, you're probably right to be more conservative and hopefully won't find the best play and everything. But I, I feel like Kefog when you give you know when he's got that many options with all these edge five gutters and everything, he's gonna find the best play and he's gonna he's gonna punish you, isn't he? So I feel like I would have been more daring against Kefog than, than other people, you know. Hmm. You were surprised the rats didn't go for the The one turn? No. Like if you get the right, you can have a it was it, it was possible. And actually I forgot I only had uh, ten players. <laughs> because it, I could, I could have won him with eleven players for that sort of. Plus, Kendra, uh, called but I forgot to. He told me before the match that he was going to be going to be leveling his rookie rookie storm permit, so he was going for the greedy play of leveling the stupid rookie storm permit, which didn't pay <laughs> off. I'm glad to see, but uh, <laughs> no, no it was also it was potentially silly. I put I put the sidestep two heads back there. So if you marked it, I could side, I could uh, chain push it forward, so I didn't have to go for it. And bloody yeah. hell, I forgot to move my players first. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, oh shit, I double clicked. That means he's moving. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, no, that was that was good. I, th I just think, yeah, there were probably three occasions where you could have come in for a four plus dodge in and a wrestle or a tackle. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I didn't have. If you don't do it right, if you do it right at the end, then you can just pick it up and score, and, and it's game over. If you do it right at the beginning, it's probably not good. But sometime in those middle turns, if you if you do it and it doesn't work, then you just do it again the next turn. And if you do it and it works, and you pick it up, then it's a scramble, and you can maybe turn him over. Yeah, and it, it's totally you're down on players, so you like you've lost quite a lot of bills by that point. So, and it's a lot better for against rats, where half the team cannot really dodge, and especially not my rats. Seem yeah, really, they're... really incapable of dodging. <laughs> yeah, you've heard a lot of dodges, but... Yeah, you thought you could pressure him to score early. Well, you you had him on in, in a little bit of trouble on the turn that he eventually snaked. You know, it wasn't looking yeah. correct. And then he snaked, um, and you did lose. You were a bit unlucky to lose, what, two players in that second half? Early, I think. Yeah, you lost... but it, it come around, because, yeah. yeah. We're about, we about, like, blitzing, blitzing with uh, my... Hitting with mighty blow, if you knock them down, is seven percent to sixteen percent to take him out, and it's sixteen or maybe seven. So we about equal yeah. level chance to actually take players out in that matchup. Yeah, basically yeah. the first which half. Is the, which is just means it's just a hot luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah the first, first half, half it was my players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so first it half it was my players leaving. Yeah, it, it kind of evened out, but um. When he caught it on the loner catch, that was really interesting. We were thinking maybe make some sort of box behind the loner so that you couldn't come in and blitz from... I'm so happy. I was almost rat. missing my rat was laying down there. <laughs> you, you almost didn't notice him. <laughs> well, he turned out to be pretty handy coming, coming in from that side. But uh, I don't know. That, that was tricky with the loner catch, but maybe it was doable. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a great, great match, guys. That was good yeah, it to watch. Was, it was well played by both sides, and uh, yeah. it was very interesting to watch. And yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, there, was all, there always is an opening, right, with Edge 4 and Blodge and everything. Like, you know, Edge 4 and Dodge, you're always going to be able to, you know, do, do things something. And, yeah, yeah, so it was, it was yeah. very interesting. Well played by both sides. Congratulations, <laughs> KFO. Commiserations, Kian Dare. Thank you very much, Fatten, for the co-host. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.